Hey, what is up guys? I just completed while Guthix sleeps. That's a pretty strong start to the video in my opinion and I got five quest points and the ruined dragon armor lump and also I'm going to be claiming the experience rewards now. I think I'm actually going to be putting uh, putting it in farming to start off with 100k. Uh, I don't know if the like things are going to... Yeah, okay, they just keep popping up. I think I'm actually going to try to... I'm just gonna use everything in farming because I don't really need herb lore anymore because I can just boost it to 96 so easily anyway, so... 400,000 farming experience. That's a lot of seeds. That's actually shit tons of seeds. I just got four farming levels. Not bad at all, but I'm not going to be watching this cutscene video, guys. But that is an absolutely amazing milestone completed. And I'm actually going to try and kill some tormented demons. Oh my god, on my like 20th kill, I thought I got a God damn limb and I got an elite clue scroll. Oh my god. I don't know if the limb is going to have a huge beam. I do expect it to have because it's worth like 10 million. But come on, man. Well, I like doing clue scrolls. So you know what? I'm just going to do that. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to finish this trip and then I'll do the elite clue scroll. And by the way, Tormented Demons is actually a lot of fun. It's not fun though when you get like three of them on you at the same time. But when you don't, when you actually just kill them one by one, they're actually really fun to kill. So that's a good sign. And the Dragon Limbs is 1 in 299 according to the Vikia. So approximately, if I'm not too unlucky, I should be forced to kill like 300 of them. So let's see what happens. I actually realized while I did this clue scroll that it's actually been a long time since I did an elite clue scroll which is really cool to do one now. I can't remember if we can re-roll it but I don't think we can but let's unlock it real quick and see what we get and uh, well we cannot re-roll it and that's uh, not the best reward I've seen ever. Okay I'm done with this game. Oh my god I got dragon limbed. <laughs> Okay, so my thought process on killing like tormented demons was like, dude, I've been so unlucky with the racks or I, I maybe I can get lucky at tormented demons and I'm going to show you guys how many kills I have. That was the, the most insane luck I've ever had in this game. Uh, maybe the barrels die was a bit more lucky, but that was crazy. Let me show you guys. Tormented demons, let's show you guys how many kills I have. Well, that took me 38 kills for dragon limbs. You know what, I think I'm going to go to Ascension Creatures and try to get some keys so I can get some uh, possible chances on Signet, so I'll be camping Ascension Creatures for a while. For like the past day, I've actually been camping Ascension Creatures and this is not all the keys I have, this is just from this trip, but I just quickly wanted to show you guys, look at how insane the RNG is for this, like, in a bad way. Look at all the Quartus key I've got, I've got two Secundus, one Turchus, and then like, how many is this? Seven Quartus keys. And in my bank, I think I have way more Quartus keys than anything else, but... I don't need that. The only keys I need is Secundus, Sextus, and Quintus. So, uh, in the end of... Whoa, that's a key. Quartus again! That's what I'm saying. I just get Quartus all the time. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to uh, do all the Sextus keys that I get. All the... Uh, what is it called? Yeah, Sextus... Quintus and I can't remember the names of all these. Sextus, Quintus and Secundus, that's the one. Uh, so I'm going to be farming maybe one more hour and then I'll show you guys how many keys I have and I'll do them and hopefully I'll get a Signet. So after like an entire day of killing Ascension creatures, this is all that I got. The thing is, I'm only going to be using the Sextus ones, the Secundus ones, and the Quintus ones. I only got three Quintus, which I feel is kind of unlucky, but we still have 26 keys here, which I'm going to be using in this video. And the other ones I'm go just going to be keeping for like Siren scales in the future or something, or maybe for uh, second signets of that type, if I ever get like multiple of the other ones. Like the only one that I need a second one of, of the ones that I already have is the Quartus one. And I do have 20 keys of that, so that's not too bad, I guess, but um, yeah, let's see if we can get a Signet out of these 26 keys that I do need. Well, that was fast. Uh, the second Secundus key, I got the Signet. Well, uh, now I have all these keys that I don't really need, because I only kind of want one. But I'm still going to do all of them, of course, because uh, the Sirenic Scales, and obviously for the second uh, Ascension Crossbow, if I ever get to that point. But dude, that is so good to know that I didn't just waste an entire day getting keys and then I won't get any signets. Now I know for sure that I have at least one, which is absolutely amazing. So I only need two more. I need the Sextus one and I need the Quintus one. So let's hopefully get one of those. But obviously we don't have that many keys, but we're going to have to see. 
Well, I didn't get a signet from the Sextus case, but I got a weird amount of Cyrenic scales. I think it's 1 in 12, and I did like 13 keys or something. You guys might remember how many Sextus keys I had. But I got 4 scales, and I think that makes me uh, at like 25 uh, scales now. So if I get 3 more, I can actually make the legs, which is going to be really cool. I already do have the head. It's like 80% or something, so it degrades really, really slowly, even though I've done like 100 or actual kills with it. So if I do get the legs, I'm probably going to have the legs for like the entirety of my Iron Man period or whatever so that's going to be great but uh, yeah no signet from the Sextus one and yeah, I did also finish up the three Quintus keys, but I didn't get anything from that. But I kind of want to show this. So I need 94 fletching to actually be able to make the dragon crossbow, which you then need to put all the six signets together with to make the ascension crossbow. So uh, I do need, in theory, 89 fletching because you can boost it five levels with spices uh, or stews. And uh, well, I'm currently only 76, so I do have a lot of logs in my bank, for example, all these U logs, uh, you know, 12,000 U logs is quite a lot, and then I have like 1.5k magic logs, when I do Araxor, I also do get U logs and uh, magic logs, overall just from PVMing, and I should just, from now on, I haven't been doing this because I've been slacking, but I should buy uh, broad arrows and uh, feathers, I do have some broad arrow heads, but the problem is I don't have that many feathers, so I guess I'll start doing feather runs, uh, but now and then you might be seeing my levels in fletching go up and uh, it's because I'm just casually going to do uh, some like U long bows or it's called U shield bows nowadays so I want to get through all of these 12,000 U logs not in this video but just overall I want to do that so when I have to AFK something that's what I'm going to be doing and just slowly work towards 89 fletching because I kind of need that even if I have all the signets uh, I still need that to be able to make the ascension crossbow. So just for a bit, I'm going to be killing the Corporal Beast. Now, I haven't really been killing this boss ever on my Iron Man. I think I have like 20 kills overall, maybe 30, I don't know, but really low counts. And the reason why I kind of want to do a few kills at least is because it does have a chance of dropping 40 noted anti-poisons plus plus, and they are so extremely good for Araxor, it's unreal. And I'm currently at zero anti-poisons, and I have like no irits, which is the thing you need to be able to make them. So, um, it's either go to the, like, uh, what is it called? Like, goblin place just uh, north of Yanil, uh, northwest, and pick up, like, one doses and decant them. Yeah, that's not the most fun thing to do. Or I can uh, just farm irids from, like, aberrant specters, or I can just do corporal beast and try to get those anti-poisons plus plus, which are way better than normal anti-poisons. So, uh, it's mostly due to the duration being 10 minutes on that, uh, compared to a super anti-poison, which is, like, 5 minutes. So yeah, it lasts for two uh, Araxor kills instead of one. So overall, it's just really good to have them. So I'm going to try and hopefully get one. We will have to see if I do get one, but otherwise the drops overall should be decent. So we have been doing it for like 30 minutes now, and the last drop we're going to be getting is Desert Goat Horns. Now, I didn't get any anti-poisons, as you can see in my inventory, but... The charms and the overall loot has been pretty goddamn good, and I've been really lucky to actually get pretty much all of the loot. I'm sorry about that, on the Fletch. Uh, but yeah, I got pretty much all the loot. I think I missed out on like one or two items, pretty much. Uh, so yeah, 91 blue charms, though, is actually really good, because uh, I have, what is it, 90 summoning, and I already have a bunch of charms in my bank. So, you know, if I put those together with these charms, I get a bit closer to 96 summoning. So, uh, unfortunately, as I I didn't get any anti-poisons, but I guess I'll have to get some other ones for now, like picking them up from the gnome place or the goblin place is what it's called, or something like that, just for now, because I want to do just a few Arax or kills. Just before we do our Axor, this is the monthly reward that I got from the Oyster, you know, I would say above average because usually I get like 60k rewards, so I guess the alk value is not too bad, also the Firelight is, you know, even more to my stack. Uh, also, I do think I'm going to level farming from this, maybe fishing, I don't know. Probably not fishing, but I will level farming, I'm pretty sure, because I have 4k to 74. But yeah, let's see if I get any luck with the racks or now. So as I haven't shown you guys any Araxor loot yet, it just means I haven't got anything good at all. I have done, I think it's overall 7 kills now, and all the loots have been like, you know, Hydrix, Bolt Hibs, Rune Play Bodies, or something like that. So let's see what the last loot is going to be, and it's going to be some U-Logs, nothing too interesting. You know what? Uh, actually, I do need that for Fletching, so I'm not going to pet chance that, so I'm actually going to keep that, but yeah, for now, nothing really good from Araxor, unfortunately.
I am absolutely still working on my Reaper assignment and I am just finishing up a Krill assignment here of like 10 kills or something and I'm going to get 12 Reaper points for that. No penalty or anything like that so that was pretty good amount of points I got. I had 268 points before so I have 280 now. If I do get an Araxor assignment that is going to give me 20 points so that's what I'm going to be trying to get for the next time uh, but you know whenever I do get the 300 points I'm just instantly going to get a Reaper necklace which is going to be fun to try out at a Raxor because I've never tried it before people tell me it's awesome but anyways I did get a hard clue scroll from this trip so I guess I'll just finish that real quick if I complete 7 more hard clue scrolls I will actually be at 400 which is really cool but for this reward well it's not much to say except it's absolute garbage so I just quickly completed a Dungeoneering challenge and I got 167,000 experience which is absolutely insane. I love the challenges for Dungeoneering. Uh, but the reason why I want to record quickly here is because I want to say that I'm working towards the Demon uh, Horn Necklace. And that's going to save me so much prayer points when I do Slayer. So I think that's a really important thing to get in Dungeoneering. Otherwise I don't really care too much about the other rewards. I guess when I if I do get an Ascension Crossbow I do need the uh, Chaotic Offhand Crossbow to be able to match it so I can... I actually use it I can't just use one ascension crossbow uh, so that's kind of a thing I guess I have to go for as well unless I can do like Greg Rovic and get the offhand uh, glaive or whatever from that but yeah anyways that's a challenge done and I'm doing it because I want demon or necklace that's pretty much it you know how I said earlier that all I need is a reaper assignment on Araxi to be able to buy a reaper necklace with the points I should get well, I just got one, and I just did the first kill, and I need to do three more after that. So, uh, let's see what the first loot is going to be. Really, every single time I get battle saves, I'm like, Oh, that's a leg piece, never mind. So there's actually a slight problem, I won't be able to finish up the assignment in this video because I have 16 minutes left on my aura which is the only thing that really makes it possible for me to kill the boss without missing every single hit with my sun spear. And uh, well the reason why I have only killed one so far is because I've died three times in the last phase of Araxor and it's been like super close every time. It was 2k HP once, it was 4.8k HP once and then 6k HP once so it's been like 2k <laughs> HP more every single time and I think it's because it's path 1 and 2 and it's the most annoying one in my opinion so uh, yeah I've kind of been screwed over there and unfortunately due to that I can't finish the assignment which kind of sucks but um, if I do get in my last video because this is just going to be the end of it uh, I'm sorry about that I kind of wanted to complete the assignment in this video but in the next video I will finish it up and hopefully maybe I will get a Cyrenic scale drop and if I do that's going to be enough to make the legs because you only need 28 to be able to make them so uh, I have 26 now so yeah only one more drop from that uh, and uh, I will be able to make the legs which is going to be super good to get also I can get a Triskelion fragment if I do get one that's a free elite clue scroll so a lot of good stuff is like really close I can get the reaper necklace if I complete its assignment I can get Cyrenic uh, leggings if I do get one Cyrenic scale drop and you know I can get an elite clue scroll if I get one Triskelion key so there's a lot of good things coming up hopefully and uh, yeah I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one guys take care